first thing that I have to do when I wake up in the morning is to overcome the flesh. And when I can overcome the flesh, then I let the spirit take over. And I spend about an hour laying in the bed. Faith cometh by here and hearing by the word of God. And I start speaking the word of God. I establish it in my heart. But it will grow and root in my heart. It takes me about 30, 45 minutes of the scriptures that I do. Then I get up. I ask God to bless my coffee, to bless my time with him. And I go sit outside. I have my Bible. I have my elements for communion. I have my candle burning. I have my headphones and my iPhone to listen to music. Then I just let God kind of take over. I let the Holy Spirit move me. What do you want me to do this morning, Lord? How do you want me to start this morning with you? Do you want me to listen to music and praise you? Or do you want me to pray and just be quiet and listen for what you have to tell me? Do you want me to sit here in peace and enjoy you? Or do you have things that you want to tell me? Sometimes it is to start out with prayer. And there's a prayer that I do, and I try to remember it because I always have it written down. But it's, uh, I thank you, Lord, that uh, you have given me the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Christ. I thank you, Lord, that you have blessed me and show me what the calling of my, the, the calling of my, of your power is towards me. And uh, it just moves on into to different prayers and it moves in on to different times. I always read my scriptures. I always believe that if you're going to pray to God, then you best pray with the bottle open because that's where your revelations come from, from the Word of God. And uh, <clears throat> I do what he says. And then at the end, I want to do communion. I do communion every morning. It says, do this in remembrance of me. I start off with Isaiah 52, the last three verses. I go into Isaiah 53. Then I go into Luke chapter 22. And I finish up with Psalms 118. And that's how I close out. But I do my communion. And I thank him for all that the blood has done for me. And done for all of us. And I thank him for the body that he has offered up in a living sacrifice and all the exchanges that were made at the cross in our behalf. And I thank my Father for receiving, for allowing Jesus to take everything that was evil that was due to us upon himself, that we have the blessed opportunity to receive everything that was good that was due to him for his righteousness and for his love and for his grace. And that's my morning. Usually, this morning, I was surprised that I went out there about 7.15 and I came in at 9 o'clock. And this time passes, you don't realize how long you're out there when you're really into the Spirit. And that's, I don't know what else to say. Um, I get revelations, I get understanding from some of the scriptures that I've never understood before. He shows me things. He, uh, he shows me things that's happened to me. And, and why? I had an appointment last week. And I went to an eye doctor and, and he was talking and he says, uh, you go to church regularly? I said, yes, I do. And he said, I, I went to a, I go to my church and I, he says that the preacher was, his father had passed away and he was preaching about that God didn't answer his prayers. And so I asked him, I said, can I expound on that a little bit? And I talked to him about faith. Well, he backed away, and he says, you have spots behind your eyes. He says, I can save your sight if you'll watch out and let me know, and we can inject medicine in there. Well, that just threw me off. All day I was praying about that. And the next morning when I got up, the Lord said, he set you up. 
He set you up. He is placing himself above me. You trust in me and not in him. Amen. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Amen. Appreciate it.